वट इज गोइंग ऑन गाइज वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ एंड्रॉइड एप्लीकेशन डेवलपमेंट इन एंड्रॉइड स्टूडियो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी एक्सप्लोरिंग हाउ टू यूज व्यू मॉडल आर्किटेक्चर कंपोनेंट विच इज एन इसेंशियल पार्ट ऑफ बिल्डिंग रोबस्ट एंड मेंटेनेबल एंड्रॉइड एप्लीकेशन सो वेन बिल्डिंग एंड्रॉइड एप्स वी हैव टू सेपरेट यूजर इंटरफेस फ्रॉम द डेटा एंड बिजनेस लॉजिक दिस इज वेयर व्यू मॉडल कम्स इन टू प्ले सो व्यू मॉडल हेल्प अस टू मेंटेन एंड मैनेज आवर एप डेटा इन अ वे दैट सर्वाइव कन्फिग्रेशन चेंजेस लाइक स्क्रीन रोटेशन एंड कीप एप्स यू आई सेपरेट फ्रॉम द डेटा सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी वर्किंग विथ अ सिंपल एग्जाम्पल वी विल हैव काउंटर इन आवर एप्लीकेशन वी विल यूज द व्यू मॉडल टू हैंडल इट्स डेटा सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विथ न्यू एंड्रॉइड स्टूडियो प्रोजेक्ट सेलेक्ट एम टी व्यूज एक्टिविटी Give the application name for now view model test select language as kotlin minimum sdk you can select anything i'll select android 8.0 build configuration language let it be recommended click on finish so our project is created let's go to activity main.xml and do a simple design let's give this hello world a text size of 32 sp and let's give id to it that will be text view let's give a button id will be button text will be add count and let's add constant top to bottom of text view start to start of text view end to end of text view so it will come in center so this will be our minimal design now let's go to main activity and see why we need view model so here what we will do we will add a text view let in it where text view and also a button let's give the id for button as well so what we will do first we will set the counter to 0 let's initialize a variable here count equals to 0 and what we will do text view dot text equals to count is dollar count so we'll show this so whenever we will click on button set on click listener we will again increase the count count plus plus and we will set the count to our text view that's it so at first it will show the count when we click on button it will increase the count and it will display in the text view let's run and see how it is working so as you can see over here count is 0 when i click on count it is increasing so this is the basic application we are make but if you see when we rotate the screen of the application that means if we do the configuration changes if i click on rotate left and i will rotate the screen you can see the count is again 0 so it is started from the beginning because this main activity is created again everything is started with zero it is created again that's why the count is zero if i click on add count it will go increasing now count is 12 well. if i rotate again count is zero so this is the problem we are facing when there is configuration changes in the application the data is gone ui is resetting that is fine but data should not reset so that is the problem so to solve this we need view model so how to add view model view model is just a separate class so let's create a class first let's give main view model you can give any name so this is the class and here what we will do we will create this variable over here count variable will be here and this increment also we will do there so here what we will do one function we will create increase count and we will do count plus plus so this class will hold the value of count as well as the increase count function so here what we will do we will create a view model object view model main view model we will initialize it over here and we can use this now so here view model dot count view model dot count and in and when we click on button we will do view model dot increase count so this is the same thing we are doing we have separated our code from the ui let's run and test again count is 0 it is working same if i rotate now the count is zero again so why it is happening because we have created a class but this is not a view model we have created a separate class we are doing the same thing again the main activity is reloaded the main view model is created again and the counter is zero again code we have separated but the working is same because we have not created a view model yet this name we have given main view model but it is not exactly a view model so how we will create a view model so here what we will do we have to extend it from view model class so if you go to view model this is from android x life cycle you can click on this construct an invocation now this main view model is a view model means it is inherited from view model that's why this is a view model now 
now if you run we increase the counter rotate it again it's zero so why it's happening it is view model now so we have made this view model but here every time when we are in on create we are creating the new instance of view model that's why every time it is zero we are creating a new instance this should not happen this we should get from android view model provider so we should ask the android that please give me the view model instance of this main view model so that i can get the last data whatever it had so instead of creating this view model instance every time we will use view model provider so we have view model provider dot we have to pass the owner that is this activity and we have the get function so we'll call get and pass the model class so whatever the model class is we will pass how we will pass main view model class dot java so in this way we will pass the main view model class in this view model provider so that it will provide the view model instance of this main view model now it is a view model also and we are asking android to give us the view model instance so that data won't reset now let's run and test count is zero increase the count if i rotate now count is still 8 that means our view model is working the data is not reset the ui is resetted because we have rotated the screen but data is there if i rotate back again data is still 8 increase rotate data is still there so in this way view model works we have to just create a view model where we will put the data and the functions we can use that view model in the main activity with the view model provider and the data will always be there whether it is configuration changes or screen rotation or anything. So this is the advantage of using view models. So I hope you have learned something from this video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you have any doubts and queries, please comment below. I will reply for you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going. See you in the next video. Bye bye.